Okay, so today we're looking at something different. We're looking at Calibri OS, which is a tiny, powerful and fast operating system that takes a whole 8 megabytes of RAM to run, features a rich set of applications, supports NTFS, read-only, EXT 2, 3, and 4, and has some drivers for more popular bits of hardware. And basically, this is a spin-off of, or well, fork-off of Newt OS in 2004. And taking a look at this OS, doesn't seem to be really for the everyday usage, more of a hobby type of an OS. But I thought, you know what? Let's take a look at this today. And of course, it is licensed under the GPL and it has its own type of kernel. So yeah, let's take a look. What I've done is I've set it up with 128 megs of RAM, but overkill in a virtual machine. So let's take a look at it. Okay, and here we here we've got it. So this is the OS. I downloaded the ISO image and just booted it in VirtualBox. And taking a look here, this is what you get. You get your whole welcome screen which is not working, but it's there. Uh, it has its own little built-in browser type effort here. Okay, Electric Lab Browser is up to date. I wonder, can we go to something like google.com? Oh, we could. Okay. So if we went to, what is it, frogfind.com, I think. There you go. Uh, not that it's allowing me to actually search or do anything on this page, but here's the browser. Okay, let's close that there. So as you can see here, we have the whole desktop environment. We have, if I right click, we have processes, which shows us what's running. It shows us uh, theme settings if we wanted to change our themes. Uh, a background if we want to change the colors and gradients. Our system panel, so basically the control panel, which gives you a whole range of settings here. So, for example, it will show me my CPU ID and showing how it's running on my i7. Graphic benchmarks, uh, so we can do a test. Um, and it will run a couple of things. Um, I'm just going to close it. I find sometimes it can be a little bit buggy still. I suspect that's just because it's running in a, a virtual machine. Uh, network speed. Doing a quick little test there, I see. Be interested to see what it comes up with. Okay, uh, and then it has an error. Plus, yeah, I can't save it because I'm running from the ISO. Uh, system monitor, as you can see, it's running... Uh, it has 189 megs free, so it's only really running 26. Um, very little usage. It's that's phenomenal, really. Uh, ghost monitor. So showing additional what uh, usages, I suppose. And I mean, you can, you you could carry on here. Um, things like RAM disks, video mode, and that isn't working. I assume that would work on more native hardware, and I suspect older hardware more than anything else. Um, but yeah, you can even have these additional options here if you really wanted to. Um, and even the date and time seems to be working pretty correctly. So really, really interesting. Okay, different devices and everything. Okay, so that's the control panel. Uh, they have everything broken down into 2D demos. 3D demos. So if I was to do 2D demos here and I was to choose, for example, Plasma, write some reaction there. If I choose another one, remove water, does that. Uh, if I go to 3D and let's say we choose popular gears, it seems to be running. Let's also use the cube, which is running at crazy speeds. And I suppose labyrinth. For, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just too quick. 
graphics, of course. So what's interesting about this OS is that it has a bunch of additional applications that you can use for different occasions. So for example, graphics, um, an icon editor, an image viewer. Um, I don't have any specific files to open there. So I can't really demonstrate it. A color picker. And you know, if you bear in mind, this is all in one thing. It's pretty interesting. Um, a video player they've got. And uh, multimedia. A MIDI amp player. Let's just close it there. That reminds me kind of of an amp and even a toy piano type effort going on here as well. Then if you want to move into development, some interesting stuff here, debuggers, a flat assembler, right. A base converter, which I thought was actually very interesting personally. And under system, of course, you have more common stuff, a calendar, of course, which we've looked at already. You've got your uh, online update, your clipboard viewer, accessibility, uh, different file managers. So really similar looking file manager there. So quite a couple of popular ones. And I mean, if I go back there, I mean, there's just a whole plethora of them. I mean, there's just, and they seem to be pretty powerful little things as well. Not just, um, even in a screen keyboard magnifier, classic. Oh, that's old school. Uh, even a shell or terminal. All right, so you can type help here. So you have a couple of basic commands. So you can do about, you can list in the directory, right? You can do normal things such as create files like that. You can check your uptime. Uh, really, really, really basic. And these are basically the really the commands that you can do. Um, you know, if you were wondering, yeah, but for example, if you want to list a directory, you can't use stuff like DRR. It's more unix uh, type commands uh data processing you have a surprisingly you have a bit of a code editor and you can choose from from json Dua, pascal right c some really interesting choices on here um, and what else under data processing here? Table processor. So basically it's glorified spreadsheet. Uh, but uh, formulas do not seem to work there. Uh, graph builder. Okay. Then moving on to networking, clients and servers. So, I mean, it has even a DNS lookup, a VNC viewer. Uh, this is the text based browser. So let's say I go to their home page and it gives us obviously uh, some form of a web page. Then, of course, there is other which has. Wait for this emulator. It's like DOSBox. Like, who would have thought you're going to find DOSBox in here? That's just... Look, how awesome is that? And then even, for example, ScamVM. I mean, it's like this stuff is there. I, I just... There's definitely all retro type of stuff. This thing's awesome. Absolutely. Uh, reader type thing. And more interestingly, I've shown you the system panel. And something that I think a lot of folks are going to be interested in looking at is documentation. Nah, I'm just kidding. The game center. So the game center here is what it comes with. And you know, if you have a bit of spare time and you're bored or whatever, you have a choice of these. I mean, you've got Snake, 
Yeah, classic mud snake. Play. And yeah, it works. Surprisingly, it works very well. Let's be back of the old Nokia days and just press space and pause and it works. Um, other things, of course, Pong works as well. So you can just move. Ah, oh, there you go. And that works pretty well. Um, Tetris. So just a new game. And of course, works without issue. Pipes, of course, also works. I haven't seen that game in years. And other things like Sonics. So if I want to start a new game, you'll see it also works here. And of course, for the car players, uh, they'll get out free sell. So that's the casual. And then under arcade, you have some interesting ones that pop up as well, like Star Trek. So let's say I want regular, I suppose. And I want a short game. And let's say I'm a novice in a secret password. Okay. And yeah. Exit. Starbase. I don't know. Ah, okay. Status. Oh, there's Klingons. Ah. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, well. Yeah. I suppose. Let's do phases. Phases. Automatic. That's it on the thing on. Okay, anyway, that is Super Star Trek there. I'm not really good at that, but uh, it is there. There's the bus. Which, yeah, it's you control a bus. Living the dream, man. Living the dream. Um, and then you have something called pig, which ain't working. And of course, uh, bombers. So some folks might remember some of these games, of course, from many years ago. Some of them are copies. Some of them are uh, clones. So really interesting. Uh, there's Millionaire, where it's not found apparently. Uh, even Seawall. And yeah, that's of course basically a really simple version of Battleships. Um, moving down, of course, I'm going to come back to the big games as it were in a moment. And of course, you have Mines. So Minesweeper. Uh, Knight, which. Yeah, nice tournament. Of course, I just give me chess. And yeah, that seems to be working pretty well, which is always good. Uh, and then reverse C, C4. Yeah, so, so many of these things. Uh, my personal favorite is checkers. And of course, lines. I mean, there's just so many of those. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them now. Um, then, of course, big games. There is Wolf 3D. Right? Which, if you click on Wolf 3D, nothing happens. Sad. You click on Doom, and guess what? Of course, Doom loads. Uh, okay, I think only the first one works. Okay, and I'm really surprised this thing loads, but I guess I suppose Doom works on anything. Ah, there we go, got the shotgun, and yeah, well, well, 
I was never good Doom player. But surprisingly, it works. Which for me is absolutely amazing. Then again, I suppose Doom works in anything. So let's close that. Then, of course, there is Tyron. Right. So start a new game. This time I'm going to do easy because why not? And here you go. So amazing to see what can actually run in some older hardware or older types of systems where it's specifically been optimized for one specific task. That's really, really entertaining. And last but not least, my favorite game, Quake, which actually works as well. So, this is a shareware version. Please register. Oh, is it frozen? Ah, it looks like it froze. That's a pity. Anyway, we'll just close that. And looks like Quick is having a bit of a moment there. So how would we even go about just getting that service, or that app? Plus, there's a way to do it. Um, let's find the service uh, process manager. Let's go here. Go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Terminated it. How easy was that? Well, folks, let me know what you think of this. I think this is really awesome. I mean, you can even compare files with each other. You can do a couple of really old school games. Uh, you can just have fun and not need to worry. So, yeah, I think this is great work. It's not something you're going to run every day as your main system. But you know what? Why not have fun every now and then? As always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think and bye for now. Mm -hmm.